Hi guys, it's Raven Scry. I hope everyone's doing well uh, out there. There's been a lot going on for me uh, lately. Um, as many of you know, I'm on the road uh, traveling around Australia in my van and connecting with spirit along the way and just kind of learning to listen more deeply. Um, currently, I'm in Alice Springs, uh, which is a beautiful place here in Australia. But I've been reflecting on crypto, and many many of you have been asking me, crypto, 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 predictions. Um, and I have been reflecting and taking space um, to integrate uh, what's, you know, the whole journey of the last few years. My predictions so far have had hits and have had misses. And the timelines I've noticed have been... Uh, often a year out, uh, which is interesting. And I've actually heard other psychic mediums speaking about them being a year out also, so hmm, interesting. Um, but timelines are always difficult uh, to predict uh, as they're always shifting and changing. Now, I've tried different approaches uh, of reading cryptos and I've found some ways have worked better than others. So I've worked with psychic techniques, reading the energy of the cryptos, uh, mediumship techniques, speaking directly to spirit and um, bringing um, energies from the spirit world in for their guidance. I've also approached it in more of a journey-like perspective, traveling into the world of the project and used some remote viewing techniques. So I've found that all the ways of working have had highlighted benefits uh, and I've also noticed that crypto has a uh, connection to the larger collective interactions in creation and that connections come through in such interesting ways into everyday life. And in this way, it's so much about listening and fine-tuning the listening and allowing things that come into your space, into your day, day-to-day, -day, and allowing these things to speak to you and, you know, some people say coincidences, you know, but however you want to see it, things that you notice, connections uh, that are made between things, in between things, something that you may notice, it could be a number, it could be something that's a pattern in your world. Uh, all these connections, it's like noticing these small connections allows this uh, constant flow to come into your life. Uh, messages, being open to listening. And it also shows you where there's blockages and where, the, where you're not listening. So with the journey I've been on while traveling, the importance of listening has been paramount to my day to day. And I've noticed where I don't want to listen. And in some ways, it's like I'm rejecting a natural flow that's coming into me, that's coming into life. So when you push away uh, what's being given, and you know that, that that it's being given as a gift, and it may be the smallest thing. The more you push these things away, the more it, it you know it it hinders this flow from coming into your life uh, and your existence. So this flow is included in cryptos, and you know I never understood this years ago because I ended up doing predictions for cryptos, uh, being led to do this out of just nowhere. I never thought I'd be here doing this. Uh, so I never really understood what kind of a, you know, a beast crypto was and how many levels there was to, uh, to crypto. Now, I believe that I'm involved in crypto because where it's evolving into will demonstrate the utmost connection and flow through the collective and through the community, offering freedom to all, and freedom to all that are open, essentially, open and listening. But out of all of this, it's much larger than many see. So many are just concerned with the money now and like, can I make 100x gains now, quick, quick, you know, and we're all in that survival you know, mentality on a level, we're trying to survive as humans and do well. And, you know, the, the lower down the rung you are, the, the more that kicks in, you know. And I mean lower down the rung, the, the less money you have 
the harder it is to survive, the more that survival instinct is, is kicking in, you know. And not in all cases, and I'm not making it wrong either, uh, but it's much larger than that. And it's connected with collective evolution in all its forms, including the corruption and the greed. But in its highest evolved forms, its function can be freeing and inclusive of all. So it's been a fine dance of learning for me on so many levels. I've made great gains and I've had massive losses. And I've tried my best to experience and to learn and to integrate it all as hard as it's been. And in a way, crypto is like a way shower into all the areas of your soul and experience, a quickening, taking you through a vast array of emotions of what it is to be a human. So one thing that I've noticed in doing these readings over the past few years that it's very important for me to disconnect from the media or it can affect my reading flow. And I also feel that it's more beneficial for me if I read projects not knowing what they are. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to start a new bank of readings uh, to work from and prepare for the next cycle. Now I feel as though we are currently in the change as spirit um, speak has spoken of many times. For those of you who have been listening for a while, you would have heard me speak of the change. Now I feel as though uh, we are there now uh, in the change and so it's time to prepare. So with all the learning of the last few years and integrating what I feel has worked and what hasn't, I'm going to read some projects that are selected randomly um, by me. Uh, I'm going to create a pile of projects uh, that I can't see and I'm going to select them, as I said, randomly and um, I'm not going to look at them until I've completed the reading and then I will offer the reading to you guys. So when I offer these readings, please feel free to comment and share um, any thoughts and any information that comes through to you. Now this can be some logical information about the project of what's going on, or it can be an intuition that you have or uh, something that comes in as you're listening to some of these readings. Uh, so if we all share uh, together, we can make it essentially and also understand that these readings will offer different dimensions um, and sometimes not seem to speak directly to it. But within speaking uh, indirectly, it's like it can open up more space for information to come in, for more clarity uh, and for things to seem and come through more clearly. Um, and these readings will also speak to you all individually from your experience um, of your life, of what you've experienced. Everything in your existence um, provides a space so when you listen to the reading, you will get different things coming through to you. Um, so it's always very magical in that way. So I look forward to sharing these readings with you soon. Until then, stay safe out there and don't forget to listen. Raven Scry signing off.